I want to show you guys, this may be a little bit shorter blog post, but I want to show you something. Um, this is somewhat of a tacky area in here. It's uh, not completely dry, so I use my, my uh, palette knife and I like to scratch into the area. See that you can get some nice like uh, branches. And I hope, sorry for the camera shake, but I wanted to do this for you to see, see these areas here? You can scratch into the surface to get these, um, um, again, some branches like that. And, you know, try to do this while the painting is, is somewhat wet. You can get some really nice, uh, nice effects uh, in with the painting. And then while I had the, I had the camera turned on, you can kind of see this snow scene that I'm working on. Um, you can see these subtle shifts of reflected light. Like right in this one, you can kind of see right here, you can see that reflected light. Those areas are really important. I'll try to zoom back out so you can kind of see, see more of the painting. This might go out of, out of focus. But let's see, we'll back. Uh, the color is probably not exact, but you can see uh, the simplicity I'm trying to get in this in this piece. It was rather complex with a lot of, a lot of little things in there, so I try to simplify it. And uh, I think I'm going to try to maybe even uh, post the, the image that I worked off of. So you'll have a better understanding of uh, what I did as far as simplification. So, but this business of, I'm going to try to resume right there, of having your paintings wet and scratch some of these things in there with your palette knife, you can get some pretty neat neat effects uh, fairly quickly. That would be kind of hard to, to do with a brush because the brush, I mean, I guess you can use a really, really tiny brush, but it's, it gives a different effect than, than the, uh, the brush does.